All right, so looks like we're going straight into it. Uh, game one here, at losers finals at Xanadu melee singles. We have Bobby Big Balls versus Tyler Swift, Pikachu versus Falco. Not in that order. But. So we did see this matchup earlier uh, today, but um, Tyler Swift ended up on top. He's well versed in the, the Falco matchup specifically, just because of the amount of practice that he gets. Ooh. His edge goes are pretty immaculate, and uh, we'll just have to see Bobby kind of counter him with his own type of offense. That was a really good option by Bobby there to just wait to see what he would do and kind of cover just, uh, just cover the regular option. Yeah, Bobby. Ooh, that's risky. Ooh, yeah. Well, those are just such a glass cannon in almost every aspect. Ooh, he kind of just wave uh, wave landed backwards, and just kind of. Down smash, I really expected a shine there, but it doesn't really matter as he, he finds a kill anyways. So even game, but uh, Tyler Swift's still up just by a, a little bit of percent. We'll see who gets uh, the first opening, really. Ooh. I really like the spacing by Bobby. He's just kind of keeping Tyler right, right outside of his range, kind of pushing him away. I mean, he had all the time in the world to pull out that Shine Bear. Alright, so Tyler's going to be looking for his own edge guard. Um, definitely not. He's going to be looking for it very early. He wants to stop the bleeding now before, yep, before that happens. Dreamlands were taking him. Um, this is where Bobby took him last uh, last set, game five. So it's an interesting thing to see, just see him uh, go here. This matchup definitely relies heavily on uh, Pikachu finding a way to either get Falco using up air or just kind of rack up damage using like, standard normal attacks and smash attacks. Hmm. Just the amount of pressure that Bobby applies is just immense. <laughs> Ooh, almost caught the Phantasm. That was a lot of sick movement by Bobby, but he just got caught at the very tail end of that combo. So as I said before, the, the big deciding factor is the up air and the angle which it sends you in. Because it does have four angles, but they're all uh, very angles. That would be a attempt by Bobby to get the down smash right after the dare, but it didn't quite connect. Okay, so Tyler looking a little frustrated. Um, Bobby's looking real good here. Oh, yeah. Commentator's curse. Ooh, excellent grab. Converted straight into an edge guard. So 
now, ladies and gentlemen, we are basically back to even in the this game. It's all about who gets the first mutual exchange. And who can get really just uh, convert to kill. Ooh, okay. It's still not over for Tyler. He's still got Bobby in the air. Oh, that was an ambitious forward tilt. Oh, okay. And just like that, Dreamland pays off. Uh, Tyler Swift is tied with Bobby in games, and we'll see how the set progresses. Interested to see where Bobby will take Tyler because there are not too many stages that are uh, beneficial in Falco or for Falco because FD is Pikachu favorite and so good, uh, so good Yoshi's. We got a little bit of BM in the tags. It's all in good fun, though. Uh, so he does take him to Yoshi's. Uh, kind of a little bit expected, but we'll see. Oh. Bobby loves his down airs. That's that's facts. Off to go for the, the up B straight, not straight down, at an angle down. You don't see that very often. And right after Pikachu misses his uh, patented portal edge guard, Bobby just kind of SDs. Not good luck, but it's he was ahead, so. And he manages to continue his lead. Uh, not too surprising, but I would like to see a little more edge guard. Ooh, okay. Came, we came in from under using up beam. It's so hard to come in on Bobby when he's just down there. A lot of characters just straight up don't have an answer to um, short hop down there. And this game is looking pretty sad. There's a there's a lot of people you can do in this situation to kind of turn the tides, but it's um, it's not gonna be easy by any means. It doesn't even get high enough to get hit by the forward tilt, but that's fine. So Bobby's still looking in a good position here. Um, he's using his bread and butter combos to kind of just build up some damage. I hope you guys like down airs because there's down airs. <laughs> Ooh, the wall jump does not matter. A little bit of a flub, but it happens. So, yes, FD is coming out. Um, as to be expected, the chain grab, you know. Also, the, the lack of platforms kind of limits the recovery options. Bobby doing a great job at just keeping Tyler at edge and making sure that he's having trouble coming back. Oh, but he gets caught approaching a little too handsomely. Yep. Just like that, converts into a kill and Tyler has advantage. I like the way Bobby's using his nearest to just get shines when he needs to. Bobby is a man of simplicity. He'll do it what he needs to to look flashy, but not much else. Ooh. Yep, still gonna go for the up B and still gonna miss, but get the up smash regardless. Ooh, that was pretty crucial. He could have had Falco off stage at that point, but now he's just bleeding damage. Um, it's heavily in Bobby's favor, but he is playing close to the ledge, so that's always a factor to think about. Wow, okay. So brought it back, but he still has the, the deficit, Tyler. Um, 
So he's gonna have to do what he can to take this stock without losing much. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It was way too committal. You see Dan shaking his head, kind of saying, nah, I didn't really want that. But it's definitely, definitely manageable still. Ooh, shield grab. Ooh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Respectable set, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 